Welcome back, everybody, to The Road Show this morning in the buzz, brought to you by The Comedy Connection. It is a great day to take some time to create a bucket list of things that you want to do, because today is National Bucket List Day. I love that. So if you're not familiar, a bucket list is a number of goals, achievements, and dreams that people would like to accomplish during their lifetime. To celebrate you, you can create your own bucket list, maybe skydiving or a dream vacation, set up plans to make it happen. That's right. A report says the day was founded by Cindy Rhodes, travel blogger and agent who wants to encourage people to experience the world and not put it off until retirement. Look, we hear this all the time. People say, oh, I'm going to go to wherever the location is that they want to go. Yeah. And they retire and then God forbid something happens or their loved one is not with them, yeah. who they've been waiting all of this time to go to. It's true. Just go. Now, you travel a lot. Do you, honest? do you have a bucket list, and each year you kind of just go through it and say, this is where we want to go this year? Yes. That's what you do. So, you're going to laugh. So, <laughs> me um, me and Anne, we're like two old, two old people, or at least I am. I will watch, there's a, a guy on PBS who does a travel show all okay. the time, every night. And I will sit there and I will watch the travel show. And I will say to her... <laughs> I want to go there. And we did this ju that. even just a couple of years ago. There was there was a mountain that you could climb yeah. in, Ger in Germany and Austria. And I was watching the show and I'm like, oh my God, that looks incredible. I want that's to go there. That's what you want to do. And we went and, and did it. Went. And we went and did it. And that's what I do. Like I'll sit there like a maniac and go, okay, I'd like to go here. I want to go here. And, and from make, the show. From the show. Yeah. Like I'll watch, I'll watch the show. Oh my God. Yeah. And write, write things down. Yeah. Although I have a complete bucket list of things, I, where places I want to go. I'm ready to go. Well, that's what I envy about you because you do a lot of traveling. Yes, I yes. wish that we were able to do more travel. Right. But you know, like I, London, you inspired me London, as well. London, great, great place. I remember when you there. Ireland, you definitely just inspired me. Easy trip. Um, Paris has always been on my bucket list. I've I would do it this year. To skip go to next Paris. Year, right. And then, oh, you told me that because yeah. of the Olympics. And then um, Hawaii. Hawaii is also Which is beautiful. obviously right here. Right. You know, it's not, you know, I'm going to be, it's a long plane ride, but it's always been on my bucket list. Right. It'd be easier for you to get to Europe than it would be to would go to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, I guess it would be with the flight. It's a shorter, so. shorter trip to get to Europe than it would be to Hawaii. But I do think like just experiences and what you're giving your family right. and what you got, you know, the memories that you've made. Yeah. What a great way to, to do that. Yeah, you look back at, and, and I think, you know, someone said to, to us, travel is one of the best gifts that you can give to your kids. Yeah. Because it really does. It opens their eyes on the rest of the world and realize that, look, your little box that you're living in isn't this, this, all there is. is. There's it. a ton of places, yeah. places out there to go. My one thing that I really, well, actually, I got I want to do a safari. Safari's on the list. Which would be amazing. Which is amazing. Yes. I also want to do Egypt. Which would I be want amazing the picture, too. I want the picture on the camel, <laughs> I, on the camel in front of the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid. Now, if anybody who's ever traveled to Europe, uh, to Egypt knows, the Sphinx is actually looking at, and I'm not kidding, he's looking at, you think it's out in the middle of the desert someplace? Yeah. It's not. Where is it? It's it's in the desert, but it's like, almost like a Route 2 is in it front also, of it. It's like a photo op. And he's staring at a Pizza Hut, and I'm not kidding, Pizza Hut and Kentucky Fried Chicken. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I wish I was. Oh my it's right gosh. Across, it's right across the street. So we could recreate this here for you So you be. could. you think you're going to be out there on the desert and oh, like so rolling through like thinking. miles and miles. Completely. And then all, no. Sweating, no. exhausted, no, it's, exhaustion it's, it's, all over it's the, the place. Sphinx it's Sphinx Kentucky Fried right Chicken and Pizza Hut. Who knew? Everybody <laughs> knows the Sphinx wants to be facing a Duncan. Yes. I know. I know. I know. Sorry. It's true. Yeah. But will yeah, you would tell it way down in Egypt in the Valley of Kings. I want to go to the Valley of the Kings, he too. He wants to go there. Yes, that's where I want to go, too. I've been making a list. I need to get to Cranston. <laughs> that's there. Equally as lovely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, Alex had to oh, 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 Reservoir or, or Pontiac, both. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go to Paris as well. I'm yes. threatening to go. Uh, that would be trading. The Fre French are waiting? Yeah, they are. And Hawaii as well, Audrey. That's a good one. I, I feel like yeah. that'd I be fun to great. experience yeah. at some point. You in my do life. need to have these experiences in your life. I was telling you during our Facebook Live Buzz video, a good friend of mine said this life is short. That's why we got to do things. Yes. Oh, you have to do things. Yes. And you know, on my bucket list is to meet James Hetfield from Metallica. That's on Put my it list. Out there. I'm working on it. Put it Just out there. Just want to meet these people who inspire you. That's yeah. what it's about. And to travel. You guys are so right. You don't want to miss out on those experiences. No. no. Absolutely. Like the comments, right? right? That's on my list for today. Let's get right to the people. We need to know. Oh, God, I'm so weak. Tammy's up first. I don't really have one, but maybe go to Hawaii. See, that's a good one. We all concur. Mainly just live my best life and be happy. That's really what it should be about for so many of us. Try your best and try to enjoy. And Marie adds, I crossed the, Baham the Bahamas and Niagara Falls off my bucket list. Those are two great, great ones. Yeah. 
The Grand Canyon is still on it, though. Absolutely. Todd has a fantastic one on his list. There it is. Visit the Pyramids of Egypt. Oh, maybe will you guys can yes, go together. Yeah, we can go together. Yeah, maybe we get a like, two for one deal. <laughs> and Dawn closes out the comments today with something she'd like to do. Make one more trip to my favorite place. The Roadshow. No, Disney World. There you go. Very nice. That's a lovely one. Hopefully you can get out there and do that. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Please keep those comments coming. Follow us at The Roadshow, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave your comment, your thoughts, what's on your mind, and you never know, we might read yours right here on the show. And still to come this morning on The Roadshow, the Tree Planters Holiday, otherwise known as Arbor Day, is coming up. The Executive Director of the Arbor Day Foundation is joining us live to tell us about a new study. I'm going to go meet him in the other room. Plant the tree.